Uh, so uh, here we go. We're, 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 it's taking shape now. Again, we're going to need some uh, greens to balance out the carbon. Uh, but back to the cardboard. The cardboard um, also creates a great environment for earthworms. And I don't know if you guys know anything about earthworms, but earthworms are great for the soil. They help aerate it. They help break it apart. They leave castings, um, which um, actually uh, is good fertilizer. So you want earthworms. And earthworms actually thrive. You can, you can create earthworms by having uh, a lot of decomposed uh, cardboard so that's one of the reasons why we use the cardboard it's not just about killing the weeds but it's creating an environment that is going to be um, really to the best type to the best garden ever you want you want a garden that is going to give back to you you want a garden that doesn't have to be cared for and tilled and weeded and and labor intense so that's why you can use these things to really balance it out nature nature and God works together in cooperation with man if we don't get too complicated right all right my friends so that's that's a little bit of a back to eating gardening tips if you don't have any wood chips and you can actually make it work with um, the leaves and the pine needles that you have in your own yard and by cutting some grass clippings to balance out that um, carbon nitrogen ratio all right i hope you glean some information today as i'm back to the garden